we're gonna turn this into our um, stereotypical idealized house drawing and continue on and continue on with this drawing. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna quickly uh, find the center of this plane. to make sure this is going to operate the way I want. All right. So we've dropped uh, we've dropped a vertical to find our uh, upper roof line, and we've dropped that back to our vanishing point. Um, so what we're going to do is give this an A-frame style roof onto this solid. By drawing uh, from the corners up to our up to our peak, kind of missed that a little bit. Pencil is a little dull. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got our A-frame uh, pointed out. So what we need to do to uh, locate the way this inclined plane is operating back here is so we actually have to draw through the form and find this plane, okay? So this is why shortcuts hurt you uh, in the long run. I wanted you guys to uh, kind of see that uh, in action and why you should always be drawing through the forms. Okay. All right, so now we have found our uh, the inside of this box in uh, two-point perspective. Uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah. So what we need to do is find the center of this back plane as well. That'll give us the peak of the roof and make us able to uh, finish off our drawing. gonna look a little distorted. Um, the vanishing points will probably be further apart if you're actually representing a, uh, a real object. But that's okay for now. But, all right, now we found our roof line. So we're gonna draw the apex back to this side. And one thing that you've noticed is uh, now we have our uh, now we have our third value. We have our our highlighted section. So the sun is hitting the roof, but not everything else. And just to uh, for the sake of the for the sake of the drawing, we'll come back and uh, complete our value. Um, even when you're doing uh, value drawings with uh, with linear perspective, you kind of want to. I think it's real interesting to see the construction lines and. Um, and stuff. Um, you can kind of lighten those up a little bit uh, according to your preference. But um, there we have it. You can kind of see um, it does look uh, slightly distorted, but that's because uh, the vanishing points are so close together with respect to this. If, um, if we were actually representing an object in the real world, the vanishing points might be way, way far apart. Um, or one might be real close and one might be really, really far apart. So. Um, uh, off the page actually, but uh, this will help you visualize when you're actually um, representing something for real. So 
I think that's it. That's a quick application of inclined planes. And what you can do, uh, if you wanted to find the vanishing point of this inclined plane and the horizon line, if there are other inclined planes, is simply continue the planes out. You found their vanishing point, which is right there. And then you say, okay, well, here we have our second horizon line. And if there are any planes paralleling that, um, they would have a vanishing point somewhere on this horizon line. So that's it for a quick application of inclined planes on top of our line weight and value drawing.